A new campaign finds a link between domestic violence and the World Cup. Hey, before we get into this next clip, go check out TYT's new audio network, tyt.com slash audio. Now, there's a recent study and, and a correlating campaign that highlights uh, the abuse that occurs, domestic violence spikes with regards to the World Cup. So ahead of this year's World Cup, studies showed a correlation between violence and football, and they were widely shared. These reports finding that domestic abuse increases when England wins or loses. So the information we're getting from is based in the UK, so please bear that in mind. The largest of the studies conducted by Lancaster University in 2013 found the abuse increased by 26% when England England played and 38% when they lost. So the National Center for Domestic Violence has released a poster, which you're seeing now some of these images, that addressed the disturbing link. The title of the campaign is If England Gets Beaten, So Will She. And the campaign is aiming to raise awareness about this, also calling the the not so beautiful game. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty disturbing stuff. They've also done it, in it with using other countries' flags as well, um, highlighting this. And just to, to give you some more numbers before we jump into a discussion, the National Police Chiefs Council and the BBC on the uh, commented on the existing link between football and violence in general, both domestic and just out outside of the home. Uh, the 2014 study found that violent incidences rose to 79.3 a day when England played in comparison to 58.2 reports on the days they weren't playing. Um, and despite whether or not they'd won or if they lost, instances reported were about 11% higher if England was playing. Um, so do you think that the campaign, you've seen the images, is, is effective in conveying what they're trying to draw attention to? Yes, it is. There's like a hooliganism behind soccer. There is a bunch of people out there getting drunk and there's something like they throw beer in the air. Like it is a grand national scale. Right now the World Cup has had the highest ratings it's ever had. Um, and people get caught up in it, and that's not okay. It is just not remotely okay, and it is totally okay to point out, especially when there's a correlation between games and domestic violence, to show that to people. Mm -hmm. Did you think the campaign was effective when you saw the images? I think it was interesting. I think it was a conversation that I hadn't even <clears throat> thought about, though. But aggression around, you know, if you talk about how people sometimes act a little ridiculous when it comes to their favorite sports teams, mm -hmm. and just not even thinking about how, if you're already a violent, angry person, how that can affect your home life, just not being able to control yourself, mm -hmm. I, it's, I, it's, a, it's a, something that I had never thought about. Yeah, and I think we also sort of come at this from a place of being outsiders because we're all based in the United States where we sort of the World Cup is like, oh, our friends are going to watch it at the bar where it is absolutely just so ingrained in the culture, especially in Europe. Um, but really all over the world, actually. I mean, that's why it's called like the beautiful game. You know, it's almost like a language that people can communicate in. And we're seeing uh, through this correlation that people are communicating in violent ways and their response is violent and there mm -hmm. is absolutely a proven correlation. Uh, so it, it's good that they're drawing attention to that, but it's just, I think just coming at it from an American perspective, we're so outside of that, like as you were saying, sort of like football hooligan culture. Yeah. But not of that kind of football, we're not outside of that football hooligan culture when it comes to American football. Right, Did you see right. what happened in Philadelphia? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was a disaster, it was a riot. It was a lot, you know, I, I can imagine that there were homes that had these same outcomes. We just I hadn't been talking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if there's invested like studies that are done here of what that would find out. Yeah. But I know like in other countries, like around games, there's violent riots between, you know, people who support either team. Right. And after here in LA, we when we win, we burn stuff. It's kind of fun, I guess.